Uh, good evening, everyone. Eastern Historical Commission, September 24, 2019. We'll come to order. Review and approval of minutes from August 13, 2019. Everyone was sent. Everyone had a chance to read it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we need a motion to accept motion it. Motion to accept. Second. All in favor? Done. Uh, next on the agenda, Ames Local Historic District 108 Main Street replacements. Sign replacement, I'm sorry, not the whole building. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, Wayne has the application and the proposed, this, and we, we were all emailed one anyway. I'm yep, sent that around. Um, it's 106 108 Main Street is the right. address, 106 108 Main Street. And uh, currently, you know, it is this building that may look familiar to people. Um, there is a hanging blade sign in place. The proposal is to replace it with a very similar in appearance uh, sign. Um, it's double-sided. I believe it is a composite and vinyl letters, similar to many other signs in the district. And this is an application for a certificate of appropriateness for the uh, replacement sign at 106 108 Main Street as per the plans and specifications submitted. And to, again, to reiterate, according to the plan, it's gonna be approximately the same size. Yep. Yeah, it's, I think it's what, two by three feet. It's not going to be neon or anything like that. No. no. <laughs> it's 24 inches by 36 inches, so yeah, two by three. Is that lit? Um, I don't know that they have lights on it. Yeah. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Yeah. Okay, not relevant. <laughs> um, I don't have any problems with it, so if nope. nobody else, I'll make a motion to accept. I second it. Written, stated. Okay, so I'm hearing a uh, motion to grant a certificate of appropriateness for the replacement sign at 106 108 Main Street as per the plans and specifications submitted. Correct. Yep. Okay. And we and have a motion by John, from... second by Amy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All in favor? Done. Thank you. I will uh, put together a letter for your review and signature and get that out to the uh, applicant tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you. Haywood Pool Historic District Project Task Planning and Updates Discussion. Um, I spoke with Ed today. Ed has started to um, do what's necessary. He has the photos taken by John. Thank you, John. Um, it looks like Ed will be able to put most of this together for us. I'm going to suggest that uh, he forwards it all to Amy, mm -hmm. who can proofread it or whatever you, you, know, whatever you feel, uh, reformat or whatever. Um, and that's basically it right now. There's, wow. That's it. I mean, that's, that's what's happening. And, and I spoke with Wayne earlier. Maybe we'll uh, try to get together with the folks. What do we say? Yeah, yeah, this stuff needs to go in October to MHC, Mass Historic Commission. And we hear back from them, what, January is it? What's the January thing? No. Um, so uh, as a refresher, um, to put in place a local historic district, uh, there are several required steps. The first is completion of a draft study report, uh, which is what we're discussing. Um, and this is, uh, can be a, a fairly brief document on the methodology, the significance, the properties, their history. Um, into that draft study report, you would also include your uh, proposed, or in Easton's case, actual, um, local historic district town bylaw. Uh, we would also need a map of the proposed district and town's uh, GIS specialist uh, says he should have a draft for us by the end of this week. Um, you assemble all this information, you send it to the Massachusetts Historical Commission, they review it and then they send you a letter um, stating that it is complete. Once you get uh, your letter that it's complete from MHC, you have to wait 60 days from the date of that letter, then hold a public hearing, a properly noticed public hearing. Um, so then you would do that and then it would go to a town meeting for um, approval. So backwards planning from May town meeting and making sure we have plenty of time for advertising to arrange the meeting to talk to neighbors to answer any questions we're hoping to get the draft study report to MHC in October and find it complete 
two months pass go by, we get through the holidays, and then in January we have our required public hearing. Any follow up from that, and then we go to, and then we go to Springtown meeting, and um, also you have to get your draft warrant articles in in sort Correct. of like yeah. Yeah. February March right. kind of kind of timeline. So what's the sixty day wait? It's required by law. What's yeah. supposed to happen in sixty days? Um, is anybody notified or anything, or is just just sit there and? I I do not know, but it, it's to I think maybe to make sure it's not um, a rushed process to give people time to digest the concept. Uh, I, I do not know, but but you have to wait sixty days. That's okay. So if know. the I isn't dotted and T crossed, then it comes back and just the process starts over again, or is it just a matter of um, how long it would take to rectify an issue? <clears throat> how do you mean? Well, just say after they don't approve it, they send us a letter saying yeah, look after this, we this, it this is a minor issue or a major issue. Oh yeah, then you would the then you would. Starts. No, you would re address their address their questions. That, yeah, yeah. Um, usually it's more of a minor clarification, or they need a little more information. Mm -hmm. Part of their uh, review to determine that the draft study report is complete is to make sure you've included everything that you obviously should. Do they actually come out? No. It's not surprising that they would come out at least look. Well, at you get all the pictures of it. That, that, you know, just yeah. the, you know, there's 300 and how many towns in Easton? I mean, yeah, there's 351. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they can be running around like chickens with the heads cut off forever and ever trying to, you know. Don't defend them. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and I think, you know, we've got one district. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, there's a little, yeah. got to be a little trust factor there, you know. Not, not jinxing it, but this seems like it'd be, not seems, like this is going to be a lot easier than. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah, don't talk about the no-hitter. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else on that? Um, no, I think we should be in good shape. Uh, yeah. We should meet, um, skipping ahead a bit towards the end of the agenda for our next meeting. Um, are all three of you at least available on Tuesday, October 10th? I will be away. You will be away. Because uh, we um, need to get a quorum together in that um, it would be helpful if we Wait, could. Tuesday or Thursday? Tuesday. Isn't it Tuesday? Eighth. Oh, the is it Thursday the 10th? Thursday. Uh, is that one of those ones we can't meet? That yet? was one of the ones that in an it email could said be. it was Thursday the 10th. You are so right. Yeah, it's Thursday the 10th. I typed it wrong. I apologize. Are you still gone, John? I still can't make it. Though. Okay. Even though we changed the day for you? Um, I won't be I'm away. I won't be back till the 11th. Okay. I so. Can do it. Okay, so we've got at least two committed. We can hopefully get at least one more. Um, in that, uh, Ed Hand said he would get the draft study report to us um, within the next week or so. Amy could put it all together, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully we would have a fairly complete draft study report to consider um, at the meeting on the 10th and you know, recommend it if, for if submission. If we have nothing else pending, would we still meet? Um, I'd like to... to what we do need to meet for this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but right. it's so not if there. If we have this, then we should meet. Yeah, if it exists. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If not. Yeah, so, you know, if. if as the, long as he gets it to me, yeah. like, by 4th, so that I can work on it on the weekend. Okay. okay. Yeah, and we could shift that around a bit, but I would like to hit yeah. a date in early mid October yeah. to finalize okay. the thing and send it off yeah. to MHC. Oh, yeah, it's right around the corner. And. We have or the twenty second of October. Should we just hold that? We should, and we should hold that open yes. as well. And and we try to keep um as as you remember, um, we have to reserve rooms, which is part of this, and also we want to have meetings um, so that if we get applications that we have to consider. So generally, it's the second and fourth Tuesday of the month that the commission members right. hold roughly open. Definitely the first. Yep. I'm sorry, definitely the second Tuesday and, and sometimes the okay. fourth Tuesday. Yeah. Um, but sometimes they're on Thursdays because of holidays or conflicts and getting um, rooms reserved. Right. But anyway, we, we try to set it at the beginning of the year to make sure that we have coverage. Okay. Did I miss one here? Did I go? I skipped demo review for 661 Washington yeah. Street. Okay. Again, everyone received a package on this. We're talking about what's known as, was known as Careers Plaza. Uh, the little building, as you're looking at it from uh, 138, 
where vetoes used to be. That's also included in this. Also included is the barn to the rear of 123 Depot Street, um, which connects to this whole project. Of, uh, we, I, I consider ourselves lucky, I guess, that uh, they're gonna retain the house. They've done a nice job. They've already resided at 123 Depot. Uh, I know Greg has worked, put a lot of time in um, to make sure or ensure that, that the house would remain and the barn was always possibly. So what's the issue with the barn? See, barn. No, no, I, I, I right. yeah. I don't think physically and structurally is an issue, but it's just. I didn't go out and take a walk, look at it. It's, it just it's up. It, The parking. Yeah, it's part of the parking. It ends up dead in the middle. So it's kind of a, we keep the house, we lose the barn. To us, that's a win. That's a win-win on that in our in our yeah. books. What about the stone up front, the marker? I don't know where that stands. I know that um, a lot of folks were talking about it. Yeah, I don't. I thought Ed was taking it. And Greg was going <laughs> to take it. And, yeah. So it might be in somebody's okay. garage for all. Yeah, now. could be. Yeah, it could be on somebody's garden right now. Who knows? Um, so, any discussion on this? Like you said, I think you put it well. I mean, you know, we got the house. Yeah. It's such a nice looking barn, but there's no, we have no issue. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's, and I think again, you know, kudos to Greg for keeping the house, mm -hmm. honestly. You know, as you, I mean, if you look at this, it's ideal, just go right, right. you know, right through it. And so we, 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 uh, we need to recognize. Yeah, nice job doing it. Yeah, recognize him and the, the proprietor for retaining the home. Okay, a motion? Um, to, oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. We, so I, can't, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm trying to think how we would want to phrase this one. Um, so uh, perhaps a couple of um, I, a couple of them I would suggest uh, one um, a motion and a second that uh, the structures at 661 Washington Street are not historically significant. Correct. So I'll make that motion that the structures yeah. at 661 are. That's the plaza. Yep. Yeah. We're going to go into discussion, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming... And do we have a second on that? Yeah, if you second, then we can. Okay, yeah. just end discussion, yeah. Discussion. Uh, I'm assuming this has been looked at interior-wise for any salvage. This is 661 Washington Street? First, oh, I'm sorry. talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. So, no discussion on this. Right, no, no, no further discussion. No. Okay, all in okay. favor. Okay. So that's six seat. That's the plaza. And and backing up a little bit on six sixty one Washington, I actually I did do um, research and I could not find anything about it. It's post war. Um, I think most of it is le well less than seventy five years old. Absolutely. There's a sort of a Cape House um, warehouse thing that yeah. might be older, but I, I can't I, find I any evidence so of that no, either. I don't, I don't believe so. I, so okay, that's yeah. my question. Thank yeah. You. And then I think the second one is um, for the 123 Depot Street barn. Um, we have the uh, survey and inventory form for the property, which indicates uh, it's likely historically significant. Um, the house certainly is. I think the barn less so. Um, my sense is the commission agrees that uh, 123 Depot is historically significant. However, um, the barn is not preferably preserved in light of the house being retained. Right. It's, it's, it's a, like I said, I think it's kind of a win-win. We, we got to save a house again. Thank you, Greg Strange, for the efforts. In, yeah, the uh, planning board uh, was very mindful right, of that. Right, yeah, not just Greg alone, yeah, the planning yeah. board. Um, and I think that was always with the thought that the barn may not survive. So, again, that's... You know, I, it's a win for us, I believe. So, Agreed. so we need to motion to find the barn um, um, not, not perfectly preserved. preserved. Yeah. So we need a motion. I make that motion. I'll second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Okay. And that brings us to other pertinent items not reasonably anticipated by the chair. I find that offensive because I just... Is it impertinent? You don't yes. Anticipate. Yes. 
I, I, dare anyone. <laughs> I, I try to include that because this commission does have a habit of sometimes bringing up things randomly at the Railing. last minute. Railing. Well, we do. Never. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I, I would strongly so encourage you to not do up. that. If there's something you want to talk about, do please uh, get it on the agenda. I do have... Uh, this is under other, correct? Yeah, yeah, the photo contest. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the preservation program, um, I have not contacted the schools yet. I usually like to do it around this time. So within the next week or so, I'll be contacting the schools. I'll get the PR ready for publicizing. Um, if anybody from the public listening or from this board uh, would like to rec recommend a person or a property that's made a historically significant difference in our community, uh, please contact myself, John Ventresco, at 508-269-0551. Uh, Again, we're looking for candidates uh, for a property uh, and a person who's made a significant contribution in our community in preserving and protecting our historical integrity. Well, and the awards will be put uh, the awards will be in uh, September January, which we need to discuss also. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Um, and as I mentioned uh, before the meeting, the Community Preservation Committee is yeah. having a public meeting to uh, reconsider priorities for CPA projects uh, town wide. Um, it, as, as you know, uh, Easton adopted the Community Preservation Act um, 15 or 20 years ago, and this is a chance to reconsider town-wide priorities for CPA funding, uh, what the goals are uh, for the community uh, for CPA projects, um, with the eye to having a, a revised or um, uh, amended CPA plan at the end of it. The meeting is um, October 24th, I believe at 7 o'clock. I believe it's at Frothingham. Um, information should be on the town website as well. And I understand a part of that meeting, or, or there will be an aspect of the meeting, which will also be a Facebook Live component, so folks can monitor or interact that way and submit comments. Um, so, so do please uh, this, this, and I attend. This is the first time we've done something like this, right? The town of Easton. I think it's the um, the first time since CPA was adopted to have a focused public meeting and on priorities, to do a live. and to do a live. Right. Thing, yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Anyone? I think that's it. Okay. Motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. It's a hard one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that means you got to go home. <laughs> All in favor? Adjourn.